Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. This weather is so fast. It's like a spoonful of sugar. This weather is amazing. 78 degrees the air temperature. We have a dew point of 60. Still pretty comfortable. It's up a little bit, but still pretty comfortable. And a southeast wind coming in at about 11. A, a mix of sun and clouds. We have some clouds kind of pushed across the area. And they're not producing any rainfall, and they won't. But they're there. And uh, tomorrow, I think we'll probably see a similar sort of situation, though. Maybe not quite as many clouds around, perhaps. 75 degrees, Wachula, Mayaka, 75, Arcadia, 75, Northport, 75, 74 in Venice and Inglewood, 75 in Lakewood Ranch, Parish in Bradenton, 72 degrees out on the key. So not a whole lot in the way of any kind of rainfall chances for us. Currently, everything is very quiet. We had a few scattered showers this morning along the other coastline, a fairly strong onshore wind flow with a big fetch over the Atlantic. Producing a few scattered showers, but nothing that's going to make it across the state into our area. The clouds might, but other than that, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot. If we see anything at all anywhere close to our coastal regions, maybe inland, most very eastern parts of Wachula and Arcadia might see an isolated brief sprinkle, but most of us will never know that occurred. Uh, unless we look at radar. Back to the west, oh, the heavy rainfall just carries on. T parts of Texas underwater. Houston having its issues. If you're traveling today to the Houston airport, you know, there's going to be airport delays. It's just uh, a real problem there. There could be some severe weather also brewing down to the southern part of the tip of Texas. The frontal boundary is kind of just meandering all the way through the, um, the Great Divide, and it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's stuck. Uh, between a big ridge of high pressure and two low pressure areas. Also, a little bit of snow showers around the Santa Fe area mixed with rainfall and also coming into Rapid City. Some upslope winds and some cooler air in place have created some snow showers there as well. Otherwise, the nation is pretty quiet except for that one area in Texas and Oklahoma seeing rough weather. There's our cloud cover that kind of moved on by, came in from the other coastline, as I mentioned, and it's benign. It's not going to produce rain showers. Just give the cloud, sky a little bit of a cloudy appearance from time to time, but not really a big deal. Plenty of sunshine to go around, especially over the week ahead. This big ridge of high pressure, what we call a blocking eye, because it's blocking the weather pattern from moving. As long as it stays anchored right there along the eastern seaboard, it is fair weather from New York all the way down through the, through the mid-Atlantic and into the deep south back to uh, the heartland. It's nice, nice weather, pleasant weather. Uh, some of the best weather in the country here in the state of Florida with that northeast wind. It is, however, kind of a brisk northeast wind, and some of the wind gusts are uh, fairly breezy, coming in at about 20 miles an hour or so. so. Be aware of that. Sunny weather hangs on for the next couple of days. I think no rain in the forecast and just those gusty winds around, but they should be subsiding a bit tomorrow. The forecast calls for the cloud cover to come by us from time to time. Don't see a big rain chance for our area. Just a few of the clouds from the other coast. Maybe the east coast sees a few scattered showers around, but that's really about it. The fair weather continues on right straight through the next several days. For boating today, northeast wind at about 15 throughout the morning into the afternoon. We'll look for two to three foot seas and a moderate chop. And the official Sun Coast forecast has us nice average temperatures for the next several days, maybe a little above. And then that rain chance comes our way toward the end of the work week as the next front moves through. Hopefully a, a nice weekend in short store for us, though, Donnie.